Hi everyone and welcome back to Cobra Farm. We're now doing this map on Saturdays, once a week. And today, because we've now got the money, we're going to go and buy the wood chipper from the store. I'm going to use the fence to power it and you can see the doits and the trailer are following closely behind using the follow me mod. Okay, so I think if I go in here Okay, so we'll just stop the follow me mod and we will continue with this tractor to the store and we'll buy that Jens chipper. Like I said in the previous part, I'm not very good at using the chipper so we probably won't get too much done today. If I can fill the trailer load then that'd be good. But we're going to do it in the normal field over there Field number 15. Okay. So here we are. We will jump into the store and we will forestry equipment. We'll find that. And this one here 88,000, which leaves us with 1,510 for our chainsaw. I don't think I've got one. Nope. So we will buy a chainsaw as well. Gonna go for the Husqvarna today. And there it is. So, like I said in part 29, um, I've not used this chipper much. I have used it, but they've updated the game since. They've put the patch out uh, to make it easier or something, make it chip better, I'm not sure. So, hopefully. I'll do a bit better today than I have done before. The thing I found hard about it before was trying to keep the logs which I load up on the conveyor belt. They tended to just sort of half chip and then come out or not actually catch the conveyor belt at all. So hopefully that has been patched, I'm not sure. So I don't think we'll start right at the beginning here. That would be a bit boring. I think we will go to the top row, probably at the far end. Thinking about it, I could have got the follow me mod to follow me again. That would have been better. Yeah, I think we will begin at the top here. There's quite a bit of space to have our tractor and trailer. Uh, yeah, this one here, this row just here. So I will reverse in, we will go to here, that should be okay for now, we will have to move because of where the tree falls obviously, um, and these trees haven't fully grown yet, so we're not going to get a great deal out of them. Just take this tractor and trailer up there. This tractor is handy though for trailers. It is very good for pulling trailers. And it can do some work, can't it? It can use the small cultivators and plough and drill and everything. Handy little tractor. Is it about 100 horsepower, I think? Thereabouts, anyway. Right, so this doesn't want to be in the way to begin with. So we'll just put it there. Oh, I have got a chainsaw. We have two chainsaws. Well, I use this one. Okay, so oh, we will go at this angle to begin with. And then we'll go for a, a lower cut. There we go. Not very impressive. It's not a very big tree. Uh, but we'll just strip the foliage off. Okay. So there is our tree. Not too big. More of a twig. Uh, I'll position this about here, I think. That way I can put the trailer 
in the corner and we will unfold this, unfold the feet and the conveyor belt and then we'll be able to turn it on. I just need to position the tractor and trailer Okay, a little bit close maybe, but it should be fine. I just now need to get used to these controls. It has been a long time since I used this. It was on the original map anyway. Now, before, I know you had to chop them up into smaller lengths. Uh, just going to attempt this, see if I can put the whole tree through, because that would be really handy. Okay, so we'll just get this into position. I'm going to try and put the whole tree through. Not sure if it'll work, because before I know you did have to chop it up into smaller lengths. But it's worth a go. He's feeding it. That's doing pretty well. They have improved it a lot. It's much better. It's got stuck. Uh, maybe if I just reposition that. Yeah. We will uh, help it in a bit. There we go. Fantastic. They've really made that better. Now, obviously, the best thing to do here would be to sort of um, chop a load of trees down and then use the the loader and bring them all up to the chipper um, but because they're not fully grown I don't think I can really do that too well I'm really not good at picking up small bits of trees and this time I think what I'll do is not Take the foliage off. I'll try and do it without that. And I think if I'm in a close proximity of some of the trees, then I won't have to keep moving every time. Because that would get really annoying. So if I put the trailer about here, then that should be okay. Um, it should definitely reach and I think while I'm here I'll take the next tree down too oh it's going right so she got stuck on the grab Yeah, that is one of the problems with not taking the foliage off. Obviously, it makes it look a bit more unrealistic when it spins around like that. In fact, I think this is a bigger tree. Can it take it all in in one? Probably not. Oh, it did. That's working really well. Uh, now the next one is a little further away. I'm not sure if I can reach that. Possibly if I unfold right out. Right, 
so now it needs to uh, bend in a bit I think if I can get it in there that seems to be going in I think the key is to let go of it before it stops because it tries to pull it through and if you hold it then it will just get jammed but it's a lot better than to what I remember it they have really done a good job at improving that uh, so yeah we're going to have to move forward once again we will go to about here if we can get two trees in each load that would be good um, but it would be easier using a loader And this is actually taking a while to fill the trailer. That must be because of how undeveloped the trees are. They're not really established yet. I could have waited, I suppose, to do these. We will definitely be doing this again. So once they've grown up another growth stage, we should get a lot more out of them. Okay, and this one. Hopefully none fall on the tractor. Oh. Okay. Um, well, that tree has deleted itself. Never seen that happen before. Oh well, we'll move on to the next one. Not sure why I did that. Oh, this one's got stuck. There it goes. Now preventing us from moving forwards. Okay. I don't really know whether to strip the foliage off or not. You, you wouldn't do, I don't think, in real life, because obviously you shred it all. Um, it's just in this game, they can sort of spin around, which makes it look a bit weird. I don't think I will take it off. I think I'll leave it on. Bit of a waste of time, really. Uh, I'm guessing the issue here is I'm not holding the tree far enough down the trunk, so it's not as easy to to feed in. So that's another tree done. There's another one going through. Yeah, it's taking a long time to fill the trailer. We really should wait until they are more developed. We're not getting too much out of them. Um, so I don't know, what, what percentage should we go up to? I don't know. We sh I can't exactly do everything here. Uh, we're only on 11% and we've done, what would it be, four or five trees? One deleted itself. Maybe even five trees. So, I think if I do two more, we will come back on this side. And, of course, the cost per ton for the wood chips is pretty high. So we should get a fair bit, even if it's only a quarter of a trailer or something, or less. I think we will cut these down first so we don't fell them onto the tractor. Okay, that's going that way. At least it wanted to. Good. And this one.
Ah, it's going that way. Okay. So they've both taken completely different directions. We will back up and load them into the chipper. Oh, that one's rolling away. Okay, so I've had to rearrange myself and I did feed this one in, but it's sort of uh, eaten the end off and thrown the other bit out. And now it won't go in for some reason, so I've had that problem before. Sort of half chip something and then you keep trying to force it in and it doesn't do anything. I can remember that last time I used it. I'm not sure what it is, I think it's when it falls out the actual jaws of the chipper. I think it must think it's chipped it, but it hasn't. So it just spits it out. I will attempt it once more. But I don't think it will feed in. Yeah, it's sort of um, sitting on the edge there. Which will not go in. Doesn't matter how hard you try, it just won't move. Which is annoying because that's just going to sit around now. I can't really get rid of it. Um, so we will have to take this other tree, which is over here. We'll have to try and get that one in. Okay, so I just rearranged myself. Really not too good at this. We will put the trailer on the other side again. I am not good at <laughs> doing the forestry in this game. Really not good. Alright. So we will get all this turned back on again. And I'll try and feed my final tree of today into the chipper. feed. Seems to be taking it all. Brilliant, there we go then. So we've got a bit in the bottom of the trailer. Not much for the amount of time it's taken. But it is still some wood chips, which I haven't done for a long time. So we'll just fold this back up and then we'll go and sell everything we've got in that trailer there we go that's all good we'll jump into here 15% wow that's so impressive uh, we'll go and sell it see what we can get for it I'm not sure what it's thinking because it's doing it in litres but then you sell it in tonnes so I don't really know how many that would be, how much money that would be, or how many tons there are in 3,275 litres. Uh, so we'll have to find out. But that means taking it to our wood chip sell point. Tucked away behind the dealership. And just need to turn around, I probably should have reversed in actually. Thinking about it. Okay. So let's back up to the cell point and see how much we can get for it. Goes up way quicker than with the crops, but there we go. It was about 3,900, was it, in total? I'm not sure. But there we go, that is our wood chip today. Uh, not too much and it wasn't done too well. Uh, so maybe it will be a lot better next time when the trees have established a bit more. But there we go, thanks for watching everyone and you can join me again on this map this time next week. 
and we'll be of course continuing with the Thistle Farm map on Tuesday, Euro Truck Simulator on Monday and tomorrow we have got some more mod spotlights. So thanks for watching and bye for now.